Izzy calls on Labor to engage with big business, a statement which is at odds with leader Bill Shorten. That's all coming up tonight at 9 News at 6 o'clock with Alicia Loxley. Thanks very much, Corey. We'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, guys. So there you have it. 9 News at 6 tonight. Boundary. Let's, let's head to Matt Fodia. Hey guys, just came over from the Vermont Huddle. They're loving the challenge. This is what they wanted. They wanted a tough finals-like game. Collip has gone forward to apply more forward pressure. Uh, they need to give Andrew Predier most, more support in the midfield. Wet weather footy, they'll be looking to go. They'll just keep moving the ball forward and be a bit more direct. And they've been pretty poor at ground level, so expect their forwards uh, on the ground level to get more of the footy. Well, it's Molnar and Cox sharing the ball then, and the kick came out to Pongracic. High, long kick by Pongracic. Big fly from Fisher. Did well. Preto, who was excellent in that third quarter, I thought, in the tough conditions. And he dives over the footy, and it will be a ball up. He's got the long sleeves on Andrew Preto. He's found it hard to force his way into this Vermont side this, this season, but I think he's done a, a fine job today. Tucker won the ruck hit out. Quick kick came out of the pack, but it was nicely marked there by Molnar. So Nick Molnar. Is he a chance from here? Uh, probably not with the... Uh, probably not, I'd say, Damo. I reckon he'll probably put it right to the square. You can see how many players... Uh, <laughs> if you're at the ground, you can see how many players are in that goal square, waiting for it. He'll give it his best. Strained for the extra distance. Molnar gives it all he's got. It will fall a few metres short and easily picked off then by the Vermont defenders. Fisted away, and it did sneak through for a behind then, so... Rush behind, seven-point lead to, to uh, South Croydon. Could be a handy point. And uh, just a reminder, Vermont, up until today, in neither of their under-19 seniors or reserves had lost a game up until this season. The reserves lost today, and Vermont currently behind by seven points. So it could be an omen. Davidson, long kick out, goes all the way outside his defensive 50, and the Bulldogs punch it just to keep their territorial advantage. So coming over the top was Schink. And his angel was at the marking contest. You get a sense goals will be at a premium, so territorial advantage is the key. Buxton wins the tap down, but Molin, Molin was there, but McComb robs him. Buxton has to help out with a quick kick out of that congested area, puts it towards the boundary line, towards the wing, <laughs> and it's been escorted over. Crowell doing the good work, getting in good position. And it's going to be a ball up. More centre wing now here at Cheong Park. <laughs> Two minutes gone in this fourth term. It's South Croydon 7-15-57, leading Vermont 8-2-50. Seven-point lead to the Dogs, the Premiers, for 2017. Jones got tackled and hand passed it out towards the boundary, but it's still a contested ball and it still mm, hasn't gone over. And the umpire sees as the players slide in a free kick, which will go the way of Schneider. Schneider. And he picks himself up. He's ginger all over from being pretty much trodden on as he claimed the ball at ground level. So from the boundary line, he puts a very stiff kick towards the uh, middle of the ground. Still on the wing, just outside the square. And it'll be a handed over ball as the pack seems to be following the ball a bit now. There's a blub rule, it seems. The umpire's called for it. And it's Buxton, so it's going to affect the ruck duties, unfortunately, for Vermont. And we're going to have a stop. So Pongrasic was in the contest then when got tackled. So it's interesting who we say the best players on the ground are in terms of both teams. Um, we'll get thoughts on that now. Angel has to do the ruck duty. Coming over the top was Tucker. Pushes him out of the way. Rucks. McComb takes the a kick. Gets it towards centre half forward. No possession claim. Now it's in hands of Cox. Cox dribbles a ball towards Rosario. On the bounce. He picks it up. And he hand passes back to Dan King. Dan King gets taken in a, a big tackle there by McCafferty. And the umpire say, give it to me. No prior opportunity for King to get out of that tackle with possession. So it's... Ball up, just forward of the centre circle as the dogs go forward. McCo might get the ball that comes out of that pack We're situation. Away. He fires a hand pass out. Can Preto run onto it? He's got time now to steady. Puts a long kick into the pocket. Well, Eddie ball. nearly marks it, but he drops it onto the hands of his teammate in Coloppi. Gets Schneider. The, gets the ball towards Snyder, but at the back of the pack, can Vermont hold their feet as the ball goes towards goal? It's a contest for the oh. ball. Flying kick out of the pack. Oh. It's all dogs, though, in the last line of defence. And it's going to be Tucker handing it off to a teammate. Now the long kick out of the fence finds Cass. Cass at half back is quick to play on because he's got another player there up in the ground. Tucker. So it's Tucker. Yep. 
And Tucker from half back will load up to half forward. King's getting underneath it. Well, this time it was Birch, and he was put off the ball by Fisher, who takes it over the boundary line. Oh, gee, that was steadfast defence there from South Croydon. It was a good pick up from Preto to deliver it inside 50 for Vermont because it's important to remain composed in that situation and it can be very difficult when the game's on the line. But South Croydon's defence there, they just stood up and prevented any scoring. Boundary throw in Tucker, knocked it further forward and once again over the boundary line and the lights are on here at Cheong Park. It is unbelievably dark. We're only five minutes into the final quarter, so you... Uh, Just after 4pm local time. <laughs> you can imagine how dark it'll be by the end of this quarter. Barry Cotts? Yeah, Division 1, and it's uh, Doncaster trailing Norwood. Uh, Norwood, wow. 7 5 to Doncaster, 8 12 60. Johnson worked his way back nicely. Got some help there. Tackled by Birch. Rosier tried to push his opponent off the footy. Purdy with the handball, but there's a free kick. Me. And it's going to the zippy one. Michael King, and uh, he hasn't had many opportunities today, but when he has had them, he's made good on them. Two goals for the afternoon, and he was just held on to a bit long then by his opposite number, Tim Johnson. So King, you back him in, has great goal sense. And no oh, uh, just hung it out <laughs> way to the left, and he tried to will it to come back, but it was never going to be able to come back that far. Minus score, South Croydon, seven goals, 16. Vermont, eight goals, two. It's still an eight-point lead to the inaccurate Bulldogs. Yeah, next time you give me a tip, Brad, I'm not taking it to the racetrack. <laughs> you think King should have taken a bit longer? It was a very short run-up. Uh, he just uh, didn't kick straight. That's his problem in that one. As Vermont work it out to Parker on the outer side. Nice short pass. Oh. Young drops it. Allows the dogs to come in. So now it's a disputed ball at half forward for the Bulldogs. Can they get clear possession? Jones running in congestion. Wheels himself out. Finds his teammate in the middle of the ground in McDonald. Who's wrapped up with like a mummy there. Got a bit of bandaging underneath it there couldn't take the marquis cooper but he's good at ground level just to keep the momentum going rosier picks it up hands it off to a teammate flying shot from mallison oh. hits the post oh. from 40 it was a hopeful effort hang in the air and it hits the right post for a minor score the dogs are peppering without goaling 7 17 59 lead by nine points as vermin are 8 2 50. gee if they lose this game south croydon you put it down to inaccurate kicking 7 17. More scores from the score centre with Barry Cotts. Yes, first we 7-12-45, Leith Heapmont, 7-9-45, and East Burwood. Try out Glenway the Hawks, Glenway the Hawks, 7-10-52, East Burwood, 5-9-39. Cooper's shot at goal, fires away, but he's off target, minor score. One goal, five for the day for Daniel <laughs> Cooper. So he's probably the best... Uh, example of the the nature of their inaccurate kicking let's go back to barry yeah division one east ring with 10 7 67 to noble park 7 5 47. davidson to bring the ball back in for vermont just kicks it to himself gains a couple of meters and then banks it to half back crowd did really well against crocker just worked him out of the contest and james crowd takes the mark and launches the ball forward fisher for vermont worked his way back big fist and he should be paid the mark, mark there. Yeah, has to be. Yeah. Even he didn't realise. <laughs> he got the first hands on it with the fist and then completed the mark. Goes short to Wadley. Wadley's kick hugging the boundary well and he finds Anger who uh, has been the best big man on the ground I reckon just about today. Terrific Whoa. game by him. It was a dangerous Still kick. Oh right? yeah, chopping of the arms. I thought he'd bit off more than he could chew then. And 25. But he got uh, interfered with and now he's got a 25 metre penalty as well. Cam Purdy. Yeah, it was probably there. Good decision by the umpire. Well, uh, Dan King came from the front as well, so to spoil. Former East Ringwood swingman, Cam Purdy, launches it forward. Oof. Big pack competing. No one took the mark. Knocked along the ground there by Crowell. Found the uh, sanctity Oi. of the boundary line. <laughs> and it'll be a throw in. <laughs> the man in front of a box slipping down the hill. Sorry, Brad. Oh, <laughs> and he like... spilled some of his drink, so ah, poor bugger. Didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Boundary throw in. Little handball was shot out. Into the path of best. Was well tackled by Mallison. Well done, Ball South spills Croydon. Clear. It was great hustle shown by the Bulldogs. Little handball by Young to Staples. 
Preto. I mean, oh. non-dominant side. I think it's fair to say he hasn't got much of a right foot, Andrew Preto. <laughs> and uh, his kick found the boundary, but it wasn't intended, Gav. It's just there for aesthetics and balance. <laughs> That's it. It reminds me of Mick McGuan uh, trying to kick the ball when he had injections in his foot. <laughs> So it's a boundary throw in. We've had a few of them today. The dogs win out. High up and under kick. Will be the contest flying out of Davidson. Couldn't take it on the chest mark. And a big pack surrounds it now. Good smell. No kick uh, forward by Rosier as the smother flies in. Now Vermont get the forward through McComb. But his kick wasn't directed to anyone in particular. And the defence will hold up. So it was uh, Marshall. Now they get out to the outer side. They've got some runners. Jones now on the wing. Doesn't race time as he away. goes towards King. Zippy King. Oh, go for, home. Go for goal from 45. Oh. He puts in a mongrel pun. No! Oh. Oh. Beautifully done by Cooper with the flight of the ball. Kept his eyes on it. Took the mark and gets back to Rosier in a better angle from 30 metres out. He'll have a 30 degree angle. So kicks mongrel pun. Cooper was the only one to read it. And he quickly plays on for better position at the goals. Oh, gee, well, King did have the opportunity to go alone, but that was a good spot up. And as a result, Rosier at a better angle, 45 degrees. Gee, you wouldn't say lights out if he kicks it, but it will very make it very, very difficult for Vermont if he can, can convert. It's definitely lights on here at Cheong Park as it's very dark conditions. And Rosier, could this be... Well, I won't even talk about sealers. Let's go for goal. They've kicked no, 718, no. 719, just as it made the distance from 30, just. And now South Croydon, 719, 61, 11 point lead over Verm Vermont, 8 to 50, 11 minutes gone, final term. Davidson to bring the ball back in. Incredibly dark now at Cheong Park. Davidson to half back, big pack under it. Ellis stripped to the footy, paddled towards the line, Crowell, he was stripped of the ball then by Wadley, and it'll be a boundary throw in. Well, Vermont just need to keep willing it forward, I think uh, useful skill level probably isn't going to be the way to go in these conditions, so it's just a matter of persistence in and around the clinches. King won the tap down, best, stripped to the footy, strong tackle by Wadley on Anderson. He was going nowhere, Frank Anderson. Just get the sense, Brett Eddie uh, will be the barometer. He's kicked four goals. He's been one-on-one -on -one inside 50. Let's head to Barry Cotts in the score centre. Yeah, three-quarter time, Division 1 and Blackburn and Roval. Roval 10-4, 64 to Blackburn, 5-5, 35. Fisher against Cooper. Fisher worked back nicely. Doesn't take the mark, but keeps the ball in front of himself. Well done. Did really well. Paddled it to Schneider. McCafferty. Davidson to Preto, stripped of the ball, great tackle, ball spilled clear to Jones, high kick by Matty Jones, it's all Vermont back there though, Fisher dives in the back of his opponent and the umpire was right on the scene, yeah, good decision. said that was okay or maybe he was a little bit blindsided, in any case it will be a ball up. No, he, he shook his head, he said it was not, no, so he I saw don't it clearly. It the back. Umpire tosses it up, Max King won the tap, Part tried to palm it down to Jones, Molner was there over the footy. Loves it on the bottom of the pack, Nick Molner. Let's go down to Matt Fodia on the boundary. Dogs have got Crowell and Tucker a kick behind the play. Tap one down by Max King. Rosier gave it to Anderson. Anderson has time. No. Fires at the goals, but he can't quite manage it. He's kicked one today. This time he was off target. South Croydon keep peppering. Seven goals, 20 to Vermont. Eight goals, two. It's a 12-point lead to the Bulldogs. Handy point. <laughs> So the kick out was not a good one and it's seized upon by the dogs, but it was a rush kick at goal Mallison. for Mallison and Mallison misses to the left side. The kick in was cute in these conditions and in between three Vermont Eagles, Mallison intercepts, but misses. And a score check, Wanderers Pioneers, the Pioneers 14-690, the Coldstream 9-862 and three quarter time scores be 14-993 to Warrandyte 4 8 32. Davidson's long kick went straight down the middle. They need a quick one here, Vermont. King stripped of the ball. Caney, little handball to Anger. And uh, the ball there held to Andrew Anger, and he uh, felt a pretty bit of a knee in the back, I think, on the ground there, but the umpire to ball it up. They'll be pretty content at the moment, South Croydon. As long as they just don't concede, they'll be okay. 
Mackay throws it up. A lot of holding on. Rosier, I think, will get the free kick here. And that's uh, Tucker there strong-arming his way out of the, the tackle. It's a reversal. Oh, and 25. Well, I don't like the 25 because how did South Croydon know it was a turnover within a millisecond? Yeah, I don't like. I don't even like the reversal because the uh, Schneider there was holding on to Tucker, kept holding on to him, and uh, after the free kick had already been paid. So anyway, play goes on. It's deep in the so forward line. Player. Deep in the Vermont forward line now. Strong tackle then by Walker, and uh, also by Anderson, and they force a ball up. They had just had clean possession. They had a couple of free players over the top of the goal square. Now it's pretty congested. Yeah, massive number of players deep in the uh, defence there. Schink with the kick. Fisher got a touch to it. Not further backwards. Chance here for McCafferty. How did he get rid of that ball? The fan said it was holding the ball. Incorrect disposal. One on one. Rosier's high kick looking for Birch. Pushed off the footy. King tries to swoop on the ball. Young for Vermont showed good poise, although oh. his kick was poor, and it finds the boundary line. It, I don't think it was deliberate. No, it couldn't be. Skill error. <laughs> some umpires would pay. You can laugh, but some umpires would pay that for deliberate, but it was a skill error by Charlie Young. You couldn't mean to kick that badly, seriously. <laughs> boundary throw in. And uh, last throw of the dice, you think, almost yeah. for Vermont, because they need three goals now, and we're coming up to 16 minutes gone in this last quarter. Ball slipped through the hands of Best. Best dives on the footy. Kilpatrick got a high one, maybe, from Davidson. No free kick. Purdy, good, strong tackle by Kilpatrick again. Uh, and uh, Pongracic it was there with the tackle. So another ball up. King wins the tap out. Max King, it's at ground level with Jones. Got it, but he's tackled. Now he's oh, got some help. He goes. Big opportunity oh, for King. He high. runs around him. He took about 20 metres, but everyone knew if King can get around his opponent. It's Rosier, was it? Rosier kicking the goal from goal square. He was in the pocket, ran towards the only defender who was stagnant in amazement that he just ran around him and Rosier gets the goal. So South Croydon 8-21-69, leading Vermont 8-2-50 at the 17 minute mark of this final term. Well, you get the sense that's the ball game and Rosier atoning for that misset shot earlier and really it's going to be very difficult for Vermont now. 19 points in these conditions. Uh, it'd be almost curtains. Well, that was a, uh, a massive goal for South Croydon. 19 points to the lead now, and uh, Vermont. They just they haven't uh, kicked a. They haven't scored in this last quarter, as a matter of fact, in 17 minutes. So needs to start now. McCafferty fed it out to Tim Johnson. Johnson steadies, kicks it back in board, but a nice mark by Shink and uh, Tom Shink. Unfashionable, one of those unfashionable defenders, but he's uh, he's pretty reliable. Goes down the line. Not a great kick. Parker was in the box oh. seat. Came off hands to Cass for the Bulldogs. King. Cass's kick was a beauty for Big Max King. Bounced off his chest. Fisher shared it with Davidson. Davidson's clearing kick to centre half forward. Ellis bumped off the footy by Schink. That was good use of the body. Eddie throws it on the boot. Can he kick goal number five? No, the ball trickles across the boundary line in the forward pocket for a throw in. Well, at least it's deep in attack, but the Verbon players on that occasion probably didn't read the play at their best opportunity. Uh, they still have a chance to score here. I just think it's a bridge too far. Barry Cotts. Yeah, quickly in Division 3, Heathmont are coming back. It's only three points. Three points the difference. Furniture Gully 54, Heathmont 51. Wow. Tucker from back position does win the tap down. So at ground level, the Dogs do a clearing kick, but it's still inside 50. Kick off the ground, gets it out of the area for the Dogs. And now, big booming kick. No one home for the Bulldogs. So first one in defence. Again, it's to Johnson. So it's Preto picked it up. And that's encroachment by... Yeah. Pong Pongrasic as he just ran over the mark, but Johnson wasn't going anywhere yet. So it's going to be a 25. Quick play on from Vermont. Nice pass. It's into the hands of Best. 
best is knowing he wants quick movement. Kicks it long as he can. Who's he got up the forward line? Angel's in the area. Young at ground level. McComb picks it up in the pack. He quickly kicks it towards the goal. It's bouncing and missing to the left side for a minor score. Vermont closed the gap to 18 points. 8-3-51 trailing South Croydon who are 8 21 69 at the 90 minute mark of Vermont's, the final term. Vermont's first score for the quarter. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, that's for sure. As the kick comes to the outer side, <coughs> big pack camped under it. Cox shark the pack nicely, got it to Cass. Birch, chain of handballs, finishes up with Liam Cox. Well done. Clever inboard kick to Molnar. They just seem to be finishing off full of running well the Bulldogs done. here Cooper drops the mark soccer's off the ground a lot of holding on gee seemed to be held without it then by McCafferty thought it was almost a professional free then from uh, McCafferty <laughs> just to stop the certain goal but he got away with it and it will be a ball up in the goal square and uh, Daniel Cooper cannot believe that he hasn't got the free kick there neither can the fans in the kennel so everyone arrives on the scene now umpire throws it up Deep in the heart of the South Croydon forward line. Paddled towards the line there by Parker. And uh, despite his heroics today, hasn't been quite able to inspire Vermont to a win, it would seem. They're 18 points down, headed for their first loss, senior loss of the season, Barry Cox. Yeah, halfway through the last quarter, and it's Roval 10 666 leading Blackburn 7 7 49. Mm -hmm. So the dogs just looking for that sealer if they need one. It's King in a uh, lot of congestion. His kick is smothered, so it goes into the heart of the defence for the uh, Vermont, and Staples couldn't get his clearing kick out as that was smothered. So it's still only 30 metres out from the goals for the Bulldogs, and they're tackling hard, as I think they realise they're going to inflict the, only, the first senior loss for, Ver for Vermont in 2018, and it's going to be on the back of winning the Premiership last year. What a great moment for the South Croydon Football Club in September last year, but maybe they're a better side this year. Probably yeah. have the psychological edge too, don't you think, Gav? Well, I think the conditions are a different story, but um, yeah, it's, it's only compounding that day, and if they can go in September, they'll have full belief that they can win on the day. Anderson tries to get on the end of the punch down, but he won't beat the boundary, and it's now a throw in from 70 metres out from South Croydon's goal. It's no good Vermont just getting territory and uh, getting it further upfield. They need to open it up and get a shot at goal soon. McComb can't do the roving. Slips through his hands. Molnar's at ground level. Now it's worked into McDonald who's wrapped up. His head's wrapped up with bandages. So you can certainly notice him as he dribbles a kick, gets it back towards the forward 50, but it's out of bounds once again. The main feature and attribute of South Croydon's win today has been their tackling pressure. We notice that they've played more free-flowing football this season, but they've almost harked back to their grand final victory last year and just been more physical. McCombs quick kick. Straight to the boundary line and over. And uh, Vermont, they don't, they don't certainly don't look like it at the moment. 18 points, the margin, just uh, one behind in this final quarter. South Croydon have kicked one goal, seven for the term. Quick kick. Anderson, who's really stood tall in this last term, got a high tackle from McCafferty. No free kick paid there to Frank Anderson. In fact, it's gone the other way. It was Molnar on McCafferty. The so free kick. Connor McCafferty, the recipient of the free kick. Taking a fair bit of time here. They need to move it on pretty quickly, you'd think. Ainger set himself, fisted towards the line there. Wadley can't keep the ball in play. And over the boundary line to Barry Cotts. Yeah, halfway through the last quarter, and it's borne by 18 points. Ball in 79 and to 61. It's so against North Ringwood. North Ringwood, correct. So boundary throw in, King and Buxton continue their battle. Little handball shot out then to Parker. Throw. Free kick was paid for a throw and uh, it will go the way of the Bulldogs. So nothing working out at the moment for Vermont. And Dan King in his long sleeves as he always seems to be will just take his full allotment of time here. Seconds are precious. This is a pretty similar scoreline I guess to that grand final last year. Not. <laughs> Not, uh, I think they kept Vermont to with a score in the 50s in that game as uh, it's fisted over the line by Fisher. 
He's uh, stood tall in defence, but South Croydon at the moment they're uh, looking good. 18 points in front. Well, eight goals, 21. You just have the suggestion they could have won by more if they were a bit cleaner, but the conditions probably have an allowance in the sense that it is difficult to get the ball through the big sticks in the rain like this. Yeah, I think they've missed they've missed a few gettable ones, but it hasn't been like they've missed really easy shots. No. So it's more been a product of the conditions and, and the pressure of Vermont. But uh, in any case, they've been by far the better team today. Fisher's long kick deep into the forward line. Came off go. hands, yeah. chance there for Colopy. Had it spent before he uh, got rid of it. Pongracic, clearing kick, and he finds Cass on a long lead. And ball, the Bulldogs, once again, Gav, will just steady things down. So it's Cash who will just get it towards Birch, who just slides in on his knees, tries to take it in on his chest, but it bounces off and goes out of bounds. But he'll be content with his day as we tick past 25 minutes in this final term. I reckon that hit up, lead up, forward, Birch, is a good option for South Croydon. Gets him out of a lot of trouble if he can provide a contest. So King wins the tap down, but it's Snyder picking it off. Hands it off to a teammate, gets it back, but he'll have to prop before they play on how it was involved with Alice. Kick around the corner quickly inside, 50 for Vermont, but they're being swarmed upon. They might claim it, but they get tackled as soon as they do so. And it's the umpire saying, yep, I'm gonna have to ball that up now. 30 meters out from Vermont's goal. It's an 18 point game. South Croydon have had 18 more shots though at goal today. So they're well deserved of their victory to come only in a few moments time another ball up as the ball went forward for Vermont but they can't claim possession McDonald will hand it back to the umpire great defense all day too for South Croydon uh, with the exception maybe of Eddie they haven't allowed too many goals through so the kick off the ground for the dogs charging oh. through now it comes out to the the Eagles will have a shot towards full forward but the defense again for the dogs is good slapped out defensive spoil that goes deliberate. all the way over the line and there was close to the boundary line and it's been handed over back to the boundary umpire let's get some scores around the ground at the eastern footy league yeah division four final score was sorry park 11 11 77 have defeated uh fair park 5 6 36 mm. it's probably the end of fair park season almost you would think so as anderson strong tackle once again on preto and uh dying stages of this one you wouldn't think there'd be I'll, it won't be a long quarter as Fisher races in, oh, tries to get uh, a quick consolation goal, was well smothered though. And the Bulldogs at the moment, they can do no wrong. That was uh, looking like a goal for certain, but some great work in defence there by South Croydon. So the margin remains 18 points, umpire tosses it up. And you think they'd force her behind here some, some way, somehow, but that's exactly what they've done. So a minus score then to Vermont. Eight goals, four to South Croydon. Eight goals, 21. A 17 behind margin. 17 <laughs> points to the margin. The way of South Croydon. As the kick comes out of defence to half-back. Massive pack under it. Over the back. McCafferty calls for it, then fumbled it. Birch socketed off the ground to kill Patrick. Liked his game today. Went short to Cooper. Cooper's handball to Cass. Cass runs in. Lovely kick. Uh -huh. Will it get the desired bounce? No, no it won't. Across the face of goal. And Jaden Cass, two behinds for the day for him. South Croydon, eight goals, 22. Vermont, eight goals, four, 52. There was one guy uh, running uh, gunshot there. If they played a bit of overlap, they might have run into an open goal there, the dogs, but I think they've had the energy oh. sapped <laughs> and it's almost game over. As the kick out finds Howard on the outer side, he just drives it along as possible. Angel gets underneath it and there is the siren. Some validation or another reaffirmation of the Bulldogs, <laughs> how good they are. The Premiers for 2017 have won the rematch and have defeated Vermont in round 10. It's South Croydon 8-22-70, defeating Vermont 8-4-52, and that was or is the Eagles' first loss of the year.
Yes, both for the reserves and the seniors for Verbont going down today for the first time this season in 2018. And South Croydon, the reigning premiers, have inflicted another surprise defeat on Verbont, it must be said, this afternoon. Just recapping that final score, South Croydon 8-22-70, defeating Vermont 8-4-52. Brad Henderson, you have some of the goal kickers there. Yeah, absolutely, Damo, and uh, today we'll start off with South Croydon. Uh, Rosier kicked uh, two. Uh, Michael King, the zippy one, kicked two goals as well. One each to Tucker, Cooper, Jones and Anderson. And uh, for Vermont, obviously eight goals were kicked. Brett Eddy kicked four of those. Uh, one each, uh, sorry, Darcy Crocker kicked two. And uh, also goals to Tom Schneider and Connor McCafferty. Eight goals for both sides, but it was those 18 behinds extra that South Croydon kicked that was the difference. And it really was that final term in the end where South Croydon broke away. It was relatively even throughout most of the, the afternoon. I think South Croydon probably had their noses in front uh, in most stages of the game. And aside from Brett Eddy up forward, I think Vermont were bereft of targets. I think Best probably didn't go and place his imprimatur on the game as much as we've oh. seen so far this season. They had a number of players missing. I think Liam Buxton was defeated in the ruck against uh, Big Maxi King. So they didn't have that normal domination throughout the middle with the centre clearances. And as a result, South Croydon capitalised on the scoreboard. So a great victory and they'd be very satisfied. I think that supporter base, that very loyal supporter base here at the Kennel will be very, very pleased with their side's performance. Maybe not having the same party as they did at the end of grand final day last year but there'll be some adulation that's for sure amongst the South Croydon supporters this afternoon in the wet in the dark and they'll be very very satisfied. Vermont will be licking their wounds. Gav Casey uh, where do you think the game was won? I think uh, South Croydon uh, had an even spread of contributors and they're uh, the one percenters, their uh, pressure acts. Tackling was very good today I think. It was enormous because they only conceded 12 scores when they could have easily rushed or had scores against them. They smothered a lot of balls, uh, hands in, the tackle that held the ball in the contest or released it to one of their own defenders. All those small acts are what makes this South Croydon team great. It might, they might uh, zip away from the contest with speed and they might have you know, those passages of play where they light it up. But it's the small pressure acts around the ground that every single one of them contributes is the reason why they are the Premiers and they defeated Vermont again today. Yes, and as obviously you can see Dan King, if you're watching the live stream, leading the team off the ground to the applause of the plaudits of their supporters. And we'll hear the song very shortly, but the Bulldogs... Just recapping, defeating Vermont, inflicting Vermont's first defeat of the senior season for 2018 and all of a sudden their invincibility is not necessarily present at the moment. There are some challenges to that top spot that Vermont hold at the moment in Division 1. So South Croydon, three goal winners, will try and capture their song from the rooms. Matty Foti will be down there and the Bulldogs will be singing that song in full gusto that's for sure amongst their supporters we probably can't get a reading on it but uh, it was certainly a satisfying victory as far as South Croydon is concerned and I think where to from here is probably the discussion we had I think Vermont even though they'd be disappointed with their game this afternoon I mean they are a top spot for a reason